Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. I'm up at the storage yard. In fact, I'm just leaving the storage yard because I've got the caravan on. So we're going away in about two weeks and yes, we are going to wash the caravan today. I'm not going to put you through the rigmarole of me washing my caravan, but um, I do want to show you a product that was sent to me. Uh, and uh, I'm going to use that today. Um, so I'll tell you more about that actually when I get back because uh, I've got it all set up. Now, I'm going to be using that stuff. I'm also going to be using my power wash, but the power wash that I bought uh, about a month ago now, I bought it initially to do the patio. Probably everyone's screaming at their TV or their laptop or whatever and say, Paul, don't do it. Now, so I'm not as green as cabbage looking. Um, you know, it's, you know, I, I, I used to do valeting uh many years ago so i know what the pressures of them are and i know how destroying a power wash can be especially if you put it directly up to the paintwork or to the rubbers and stuff like that even down the silicon down the side of your frames or your windows so you know we're gonna moderate the pressure because you can do on this one the lance allows you to do that hopefully it does the job I don't know what the car I know the caravan's green because I've, I've literally just walked around it before I put it on the car so it does need a really good clean that the front window above above the windows there you've got the big window the panoramic window that goes up to the roof now ours has got obviously a gap all the way around it excuse me I just got to look at the road because this is a the A24 and it's quite fast and no one ever wants to let you out they see a caravan and they think I don't want to get stuck behind him. <laughs> ah, there you go. Mr. Range Rover is pulled over. What a nice man you are. I'll give him a little wave and send him on his way. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, as I was saying, that window, it has a gap all the way around it, an air gap. Um, but it gets absolutely full up with algae and it all cr crud and everything else, you know. Um, so... Phil from Lost Weekends done a video a couple of weeks ago um, and he used a, a brush and it's a, a long a wire brush to clean underneath his solar panel. And I thought, oh, what a great idea. Because yes, we have got the obligatory solar panel on the roof, but not only that, it's small enough to be able to get in that gap and go around that window and just agitate some soap in there or detergent. Uh, and get that green out because you know thanks to phil i've now got the way of doing it hopefully because i've not tried it yet but i'll show you that as well when i get home okay caravan's back at the house just sort of give you a quick look at what we are contending with today it's not that bad actually to be to be honest um but it's that window up there what i was saying about earlier on it um and behind that gutter as well the amount of green and everything else that gets into there it's just beyond a joke but um she's not actually looking that bad so, yeah she's a bit green in places tires need to be checked and pumped up they are a little bit low by the looks of them it's the back panel that gets the most uh, rubbish some up there on the roof i'll take you up and show you the roof in a minute um because the last time we cleaned this was uh when we went away at christmas time um but uh, yeah, give me a couple of minutes. Right, in the kitchen, I wanted to show you this product and I'm product that I'm going to use today. It's a Caravan and Motorhome Car Care Kit. It was sent to me, like I said, um, months ago. And um, it's a British-made uh, product. Um, it's for the leisure vehicle care, which it says on the box. I'm reading it. I won't lie. And um, yeah, I just wanted to show you it, really, and uh, as to what we're going to use. So that's basically what we're going to be using, and uh, that's going to, I think, do a really good job. I don't know yet, and uh, we'll see what it does. But the other thing I wanted to use as well, which, like I said earlier on, come from Phil from Lost Weekends, is one of these. I've had to put a bit of tape on the end of it so that it doesn't scratch any plastic or anything like that, but uh, that's basically what we're going to be using. Sorry about the sink, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to use today. All right, up we go. Ooh. Okay. It's not as bad as I thought, actually. It's more moss than anything else. Um, let's see underneath our uh, uh, solar panel there. It's got some moss underneath there. Not a great deal. Um, mainly 
big chunks everywhere else. So I'm going to use the traffic wash again on this and um, just spray it all over, dampen it down, get the big bits of moss off, uh, dampen it down and then just put the TFR all over it. So hopefully you can see that roof. I've now cleaned most of that off. Um, I'm going to use this stuff. It's called TFR, although it's in the wrong type of uh, bottle. It's the only bottle I had because it came in a, a, a big five litre can. So TFR basically is a tra traffic road film uh, cleaner or traffic TFR, yeah, t traffic film uh, remover. So I'm just going to do that area there and you can already see the difference in the colour. It basically breaks down the, um, the actual grime. Um, I do use on my roof, and I'm just bringing it up the ladder now, I do use on my roof a nice sturdy brush, which is this one, which you also use for trucks. So this is wet. I'm just going to look at that. Look. And that's literally less than 30 seconds of uh, putting that TFR on. Um, you can get it on Amazon. I'm fortunate because I work in the truck industry, so I'm able to get it for nothing but um i say it's um brilliant if your caravan's been sat for any length of time it will get it off i assure you um might not get it all off but over time it will okay so this is my power wash and um it does a fantastic job i got it on amazon i think it was about 130 pound you get different attachments with it that lance there is um, for power washing and also for uh, adding detergent. Uh, you also get uh, another container there so that you can put uh, detergent in there or just do it by hand. And you also get a whirly one which uh, does all the patio, which is fantastic. Look what I found. I just found that. I could have used that on the roof. And never mind. Anyway, so um, just here. We've got the Pro Caravan Cleaner, so I'm going to try that now and uh, see how well that works. Right, okay, that was um, quite dirty. And uh, as you could probably appreciate, it's a lot cleaner now, even down to the fact that it had a, it had a lot of green across the top there. And there's still a little bit in there, but uh, no, no worries. I can get a, a little small detailing brush and do that. Um, there's a little bit around the edge there I can get rid of. There's a black mark there, there's a black streak going down there I'm not going to lie but uh, all in all I think it's done an amazing job um, I did use a bit of TFR on the wheels and the tires just to give them a nice clean right okay so I have done the outside of the caravan <clears throat> um, I didn't think it was as bad as it was but um, yeah it's uh, it was pretty bad um, especially on the roof um, like I said I've used that TFR I've used that before and it always gets me out of a scrape, especially when the caravan is really green on the roof. Um, it wasn't that bad this time, but I had to lift all the, um, um, the hecky roof lights up and, and get all underneath there and scrub all in there. So uh, that's all done now. I will, um, and over the summer now, um, I'll keep on top of it and get in majority more of the algae off, but all the green bits, I should say. Um, but there's some of them are pretty stubborn, but um, <clears throat> you know, I don't want to use up too much of that TFR on the roof, um, so I've done that. Um, also, when I was um, doing the uh, washing of the sides of the caravan, um, you'll see that yes, I did use the power wash. Um, I was standing a considerable amount of, uh, uh, away from the caravan when I was spraying it off. Um, I would say a good foot, foot and a half away from that caravan. Um, you know, and it's um, it's come up like a brand new penny. Like I say, I'm waiting for it to dry. So let me just put that over there. Um, right, so I have already opened this box and obviously I've used uh, the shampoo to actually um, clean the caravan. Let me just show you what you actually get in this box. So this is the ceramic spray. 
a quick and easy ceramic protection for all exterior surfaces made in Great Britain. So if you want to freeze frame that, just read that. You can you get a detailing brush as well. I've got loads of these, so that one will go in my collection. Um, microfiber towels, that's what came in there, one, two. You also get this, and I actually, because I've not look, really looked in this box, I didn't know that this was in here. You've got this lovely, great big super absorbent towel. So that um, is massive, 60 by 90 centimeters. I don't know what that is in inches. I'm sure someone will tell me. Um, so you've got that. You've got a sponge. now. Um, yes, I would probably use that on the wheels. I wouldn't use it on the um, on the actual uh, bodywork because uh, these actually they scratch. Um, and uh, I've got a, a micro noodle uh, brush for the side of my caravan uh, and the windows. And uh, that was also a recommendation by um, the international vlogger himself, Graham. So that's the actual shampoo. I have used it. it smells lovely, but it doesn't have to smell to do a good job. Same as the actual ceramic uh, spray that smells as well i can never understand why they actually put a smell to them but uh, you know nevertheless it has got a smell and it does smell Is it just me or is it just like life support for a caravan when you've got all this stuff out everywhere? It's amazing. There you go. Anyway, um, that's the shine. And uh, I must admit, that stuff goes on really well. Right, so we finished all that ceramic uh, polish. And uh, I must admit, it's come up really well. Um, I did have high hopes to um, get the front panel and all that looking really uh, glossy with that but obviously that didn't happen uh they've, they've they're really good i mean for what they cost uh, and what i'll do is i'll leave a link in a link in the description down below so that you can go and have a look um you can get it all on amazon it comes in the same box as what i've had today um personally myself i think for the price it is it's it is really good it is good i would suggest and this is just a cover that if you're going to use it on your caravan, um, if your caravan is covered, you know, and I mean probably a good six, seven months worth of green and algae, then maybe you're going to be using a bit more of it than what you initially would if it was just light dirt like ours was. Um, I would suggest that maybe you get some TFR um, and you can buy that on Amazon as well. And I will leave a link to that as well in the description down below. Um, None of it is affiliated with me, so I don't get any money with it for it whatsoever. You know, I, um, I'm i just giving you these products and hopefully you can see sense and uh, use them yourself. But this towel, absolutely fantastic. I mean, you know, it, I mean, OK, yeah, the, the caravan wasn't exactly wet. Um, it was um, wet in some places, but it was just mainly drips and stuff like that that it had to, um, uh, to contend with. But uh, that was fantastic. Um, the microfiber towel as well, they're just microfiber towels. They're, they're cheap ones. I mean, you know, let's face it, they're not going to put really expensive ones in there, but they do the job and that's what they're there to do. Um, the actual spray itself it smells nice. It goes on really easy. And if you've got a, a day like today, which is it's not really hot and it's not really cold, there's a slight breeze. And as soon as you put it on, buff and, and wipe it all around, it starts to dry and it dries and there's nothing to buff off. In fact, it, it was really easy to use. It really was easy to use. Um, so I would recommend this stuff. I really would, um, for the actual bodywork of the caravan and also for the windows as well, because, um, I just said to you then I was going to clean that wheel off. So I did, I cleaned the wheel off and, uh, once I sprayed, um, uh, the, the TFR on and washed that off, um, it then, you know, obviously there's a bit of dirt around the area around the actual bodywork. So I quickly blasted that off with the, um, uh, with the actual lance and um it started to bead water so it's doing its job already which is fantastic i'll put a picture in so you can see that 
anyway yes i think that's it i've got a lot more to do now um it's all stuff to do with the inside of the caravan so i'm not going to bore you with that um we're getting ready to go away like i said two weeks time we're off to pet in hastings uh for a bank holiday weekend long bank holiday weekend uh we go on the 27th of this month uh so we're down there for the whole bank holiday that'd be fantastic we are really looking forward to it um uh sally is also coming with us <laughs> although sally is really old now she does um you know like to uh still get in the caravan she absolutely loves the caravan and <laughs> and she loves the caravan so uh you know um it, it, as long as she's still willing to do it we're still willing to take her and uh that won't uh, stop until she decides that she's had enough anyway Thank you very much for watching. I'm really sorry Sarah hasn't been in the uh, video today. Like I say, she's getting herself ready to go out today. And, uh, you know, she um, she did promise she was going to be in it, but unfortunately she wasn't. So uh, there you go. Never mind. Anyway, also, thank you very much for all the new subscribers we've got. Uh, we've taken on more subscribers. I do put that down to Sarah because Sarah, uh, as always, as someone said to me yesterday when I was speaking to her on the phone, Sarah's as mad as a box of frogs. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you're right. She is, Stuart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway so um yeah people seem to uh um, magnetize themselves to sarah and uh, you know and you can understand why anyway again thank you very much for watching both me and sarah we'll see you probably on a holiday video in the next one